right hi so are we now experienced van gogh campers i don't know yeah. this is it our home from home i know people some people have projectors that could be our next move a projector i don't know we'll have to wait and see see how bored we get this time so i'll go through what we've got in our tent we've got So, are we now experienced Van Gogh campers? I don't know. We've come away with the family. And from last year, what we've done is spend a bit more money. We're trying to make it a bit more luxurious. So I'll go through what we've got in our tent. So initially, yeah, Casso Van Gogh Lux. Um, you can see a video of us initially assembling it. it. Took us about 90 minutes first time. Today we've done it in an hour. So we're really pleased with ourselves. We've got the toilet for the child. If you've got anybody under five, get one of those puppies just flush it's brilliant ideal about 50 pounds but it saves you running to the toilet at two or three in the morning running across a field in the dark with somebody else it's okay if you need a wee, wee yourself at three in the morning when there's somebody else with wee you've got to get for it's just fun we bought a griddle this time a griddle pan as opposed last time we had the gas stove but apparently these are meant to be really good we've yet to use it Hopefully it gets hot and hopefully we can cook on there. We've got a rice cooker because Janice is Filipino and we can't go anywhere without rice. <laughs> Electric kettle. What we have done is, now we bought the, the Van Gogh table and chairs. They're really good. We put them up for about 80 pounds last year, but they seem to have gone up to about 110, 115 pounds this year, but they are really good. A couple of chairs bought from Morrison's, about 15 pounds each. Ideal for children, not ideal for somebody older than 12. What we've got this time is we've actually invested in the Yawn double airbed, or the king size airbed. We haven't tried it yet, but I can tell you straight away, it, just laying on it, it feels so much better than what we had before, which was two, if previously we won the high gear airbeds. What we've done is brought both, both of these feet. this time. And just lay them on top of each other try and make them the same height but i think just from laying on that for five minutes i think we're just going to invest in another your never it does seem really comfortable we've also because we come away in april even though it's warm now it's probably going to get cold at night so we have bought um like these silverback foil things mat uh, blankets i suppose you could call them to put underneath the mattress so it keeps uh, the air in the beds warm and so it doesn't feel this cold at night. Then we've got the Outdoor Revolution sofa. We previously had a uh, Van Gogh inflatable sofa, but the Van Gogh inflatable sofa, although comfortable, when you sat on it, you felt seasick. Whereas you sit on this, it's so sturdy, it's spot on. Really, really comfortable. And I mean, there's only the four of us and the children use those so we don't need to buy another one of these fortunately because these are about 100 odd pounds each we've also invested in like we looked around and done all our research and just gone from what people seem to say and everybody reckons this camper diddy heater is the, a really good one to get we've got a big tent so whether it'll keep us warm um we're yet to find out hopefully it will do we've obviously got an electric because we've got an electric cooker we've got the electric uh fridge um how is this probably stocked with a bit of food and a bit of drink sorry don't look at the drink okay. that's from halfords yeah and then what we've also done from go outdoors we've got we should have should have commission from go outdoors shouldn't we um we've got a couple of we've got high gear light a van gogh light and we've also bought and we've also got another little um well we've got two sort of plug and go ones or char electric charging ones yeah, so we've got the Van Gogh Castle Lux, and uh, we initially put our video up demonstrating how we put it up. And I did say that when we first put it up, the immediate thing we noticed was the um, carpet is, in effect, a giant rug, not a carpet. It doesn't fit like a carpet would. So some, one, one, of our, one of the people that watched um, actually said what you need to do is put Velcro. So what we have done is put little strips of Velcro, put them to the sides, 
and lo and behold, they actually work a treat. So if you've got a Van Gogh Castle Lux, and that carpet really secure, even with our two um, kids running around creating havoc. And yeah, this is it, our home from home. I know people, some people have projectors. That could be our next move, a projector. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. See how bored we get this time. But yeah, this is camping. We're in Devon for a week. We'll show you our little escapades and uh, see what we can get up to for a week in Devon in April when it could potentially rain. Typical night in the Hadwin tent. Yes. Um, <laughs> your drop. It's about time. <laughs> and to keep you warm. <laughs> right, this could be fun. This Janice blows a hole in the tent. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that smoking. Do you want a straw with that, Han? <laughs> Can we have one each? <laughs> Go on you, then. <laughs> you don't normally touch alcohol, so this makes such a change. This is our first thing. This is the one thing you need, really. It's like when you're in camping with kids, it's the only thing that will keep you sane. <laughs> We'd normally have vodka, but they didn't have any. So we just got to go for the light Shut stuff. Up. It sounds like we're alcoholic. <laughs> only in weekdays. There you go. Vitamins. Cheers, my dear. Right, so here we are at the end of our seven night stay in Brixham. Um, really nice campsite, I have to say. You can see a lot of other people have disappeared by now because it's coming to the end of the Easter half term. Um, but let's go through what's happened in the tent and what, what we think of the items that we picked up. So if we go through again, so how are we finding this griddle thing? I know people get the Van Gogh scrams, seem to be very popular. This is something we just found on um, Amazon for about 30 odd pound but really good and a lot better than the gas hob because we found we can do everything on there just as much but we've also got the rice cooker so you can also heat things up like chili um, obviously rice pasta and boil stuff in there so that's always worth having but it does make a difference to the gas setup that a lot of people have and we've also got the little fold up kettle that we thought would save space it does save space it also saves water because we can only fill up two half cups with it really but it is good it does you know it, it does what it should do but i think it would be more ideally suited for one person uh, as opposed for two wanting a cup of coffee every morning fortunately on this campsite we do have a breakfast bar around the corner that we've been getting our coffee from right so if we go through we do have is we do have like i said the outdoor revolution chair that we bought that's phenomenal we have to say we've had to pump it up pumped it up every other day we found we've just had to put that little bit extra air in but it's not too much of an issue um we've also got the velcro on the carpet which somebody advised us to do or you know hinted to do that's been really good so we bought the velcro strips from amazon and what it's done is keep the carpet secure and in place because normally it gets really creased um but no this time it's been yeah really good we do have our toilet that's a must 
but if you've got kids just take that because you don't want to end up running across a field at 3 a.m for somebody else's wee believe me and then if we go through one of the other things we bought was the yawn airbed this is phenomenal the difference between the uh what did we have before i can't remember high gear high gear we had the high gear one before well we had two of them and it's just they, look they're okay but you do get what you pay for we have decided that literally as soon as we get back we're ordering another back, uh, yawn airbed it's just so comfortable it is quite incredible um in, you know we've again like the um, outdoor revolution chair we've actually had to put air in that once so it's every other day we're finding ourselves just topping them up with air but you know the inconvenience of doing that for the comfort no comparison really it's definitely worth having then what else do we get oh yeah and last but not least one of our favorite things that we bought the camper diddy heater so we're here in april nice in the day but it's got down to about nine degrees to six degrees at night that well basically it was like sitting around a candle just nowhere for a van if somebody's in a van it might work or a two-man tent fine but by day three we ended up having to shoot off to tall station to pick up one of these for 11.99 god the difference is incredible so at least that blows it out we did previous have a previously have an oscillating fan and i think we'll go back to having an oscillating fan so even though that's good having one that rotates around the, the tent just feels that bit better we were also fortunate enough to stop off at a car boot sale funnily enough as soon as we picked up the other heater and somebody was selling this it's like an amazon basics um 360 tower fan and that's fantastic and that was five pound which is typical isn't it as soon as we bought the other one so i definitely that's really heated up the bedroom really well so you can have that on for a little bit in the evening and that's worked the treat of course we've got to get these extra heaters back in the car now which could be fun trying to pack everything up so yeah we're at the end of our seven day stay uh, in wall park in brixham um, we there is going to be another video with our review of the park it's a it's a very clean site um fantastic toilet facilities etc which you'll see on the video but um and so that's it um we're going to be getting a few more bits i know for next time we go camping which is in another five weeks when we go to cornwall for a week but for now yeah a must and a must and a not so must with the heater all right thanks a lot Hope you enjoyed our video, subscribe to see more.